Welcome. This is a recap of the April 12th, 2021 City Council meeting. A fairly light agenda this evening. Um, we started off with a proclamation, read a proclamation and signed it, establishing April as Military Child Month. Uh, we had members of local uh, Veterans Auxiliary here to, um, to watch and accept the proclamations. And the, I, I gave away the, all the information with the data to them, but um, you know, there, what I do remember is there's the things that stick out to me. There's over 2 million um, children of parents who've been deployed since 9-11. And it talked about uh, dealing with parents who are off in combat zones and also the education of, of children of military um, members. So it, it's a proclamation I think we can be proud of and well-deserved and uh, we appreciate both our military vets but then also their families as well uh, for the service they're providing our country. Uh, next we had um, we had public forum. We did have a couple people uh, speak at public forum tonight. One called in and one was here in person. Both of them regarded the regarding the uh, process of filling uh, city um, city committees. Uh, and so uh, we, we heard from both, the concerns from both of them tonight. Uh, then we approved the minutes, paid the bills, and had the consent agenda. We moved one consent agenda item to the regular meeting. Um, mostly we, we accepted uh, tax forfeited parcels and Hired some people for public works and the golf course. Approved a temporary liquor application for IEDC. And then uh, adopted a resolution that will call for a public hearing in the upcoming meetings. Um, we also approved another contract like we did uh, a month or so ago for the Grand Rapids River Fest on September 10th, 2021. This is a, a community concert. Uh, that that the city is participating in and we are the fiscal agent. So we're kind of the pass through money. We approved the contract with the performers, but we'll be paid um, from other organizations. Uh, but we use our insurance and we accept our pass, the money as a pass through. Um, after acknowledging boards and commissions, we heard from the fire department uh, we approved a resolution accepting a, a generous donation of pallet rack material to the fire department from Minnesota Power, an elite company. And we took the opportunity to, while the fire chief was here, to hear about a controlled burn that was done in the area recently. We had a donation in the Blackberry area uh, to do a controlled burn of a residence there or, or a, a house. And we heard how that benefits uh, our fire department. And we've had limited options for training during COVID. And so this was something that uh, um, was well received and a, a good training, periodic training for our fire department. We then heard from Bob Cahill, our uh, golf pro at Pekegama Golf Course. And we approved a asphalt proposal going to Hawkinson Construction for a little over $63,000. It's to repair existing paths and put some new paths in. And actually to also to provide some additional outdoor seating area, uh, which is needed. I know that, that the course has had, at least last summer, had a lot of outdoor use, especially during COVID. So um, this is a budgeted item and will come out of the Bekegama Golf Course budget. After that, we accepted the resignation of Deborah Mobachan from the library uh, as a public service clerk. Uh, she will retire in May 28th, and we authorized the city to begin the process of filling the position. Um, and then finally, we, our last item of the evening is we took the item pulled off the consent agenda to adopt changes to the city council bylaws. Um, the, the motion ended up getting tabled, but the, uh, to discuss at the next meeting and maybe at a work session prior to that, 
Uh, the, the original bylaw change that was proposed this evening was to um, change the number of one of our commissions from the membership of it from five, five uh, residents and two non-residents to four and three, so five to two to four to three, but then to also change the uh, terminology that rather than being a resident, it could be a um, person who pays property taxes in the, in the uh, city. And I had suggested that when the original change was made, I suggested maybe that we take a look at that. Um, we have a lot of business people and others who own property in the city, pay taxes, but aren't able to vote or have a, you know, a direct say in, in how the city is governed. And um, so I thought that this was something we could uh, look at further. And uh, some of council members wanted to look at things more comprehensively rather than just that one committee. So it was tabled uh, until our next meeting and we'll be brought up again there for, for further discussion and, and, and uh, improvement. So uh, that was our evening this meeting this evening, it was relatively, relatively short, and we will see you again on April 26th, Monday, April 26th. Thank you and stay well.